Hey all, my name is Jakub Piesik and on today's movie I want to show you something related to the Linux and the Microsoft Entra. On today's movie I will show you how to configure the Ubuntu 2304 to have possibility to log on to this Linux with the Azure Active Directory account. You need to do a couple steps and configure the enterprise application on your tenant. So let's start the little demo. First step what you need to do is download the newest version of the Ubuntu desktop. It will be Ubuntu 23.04. Only this Ubuntu version is allowing us to use the Azure Active Directory logon to this local machine. And when we go to the release roundup, we will see information that there is a new installer, refresh desktop experience, blah 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 blah, but it's something interesting for us and it is Azure Active Directory authentication. On the section you have the information what the what package is providing the information about the Azure Active Directory. We can view the movie, but we can also visit the Ubuntu blog to have more information about this new authentication method. We can also scroll the bottom and go to the public preview link, which is forwarding us to the GitHub AAD auth package for the Ubuntu 2304. What is important, there is a couple steps what you should do, but if you do that steps from the GitHub instruction, the sudo command, it will be not working. I tested it and it is not working. To fix that issue, you need to install the package from the test repository before that test repository will be published to the public repository. So I will be doing not every step from that GitHub instructions, but I will do some additional steps from my side to install the Ubuntu Azure Active Directory authentication. I already have prepared the machine where I will be installing the applications, the packages, and we have information that we need to first install two packages. But as I said earlier, we need to install first the test repository where the newest packages are uh, released and we can test it from that test repository. When these two new packages will be released to the production, you don't need to add an manually the test repository. So we can go to the issues, close it issues, find the proper issue, enable to sudo anything while logged is an AAD user, scroll to the bottom, we have information that we have the pull request number 250. And there is some information that we need to add this repository. So add, let's add it. Open the terminal. sudo add apt repository ppi. Yeah, okay. Repository was added properly and we can now install the two packages which are required. So going back to the main repository, copy to command. Yes, packages were installed properly. Now we need to configure the automatic home directory creation. Okay, command was properly executed. Now we need to set up the Azure Active Directory application. So let's log on. I'm going to the Azure Active Directory, app registration, click Cre new registration button. We need to select who can use that application or access the API. I will select the access accounts in this organizational directory only and click register button. I'm registering that application. Application was created properly and we need to provide a two things. First is directory tenant ID and the second is application client ID. So we need to modify that file. Sudo nano. Okay. Application ID. And now the tenant ID. Okay, file was saved properly. 
and the next step is restart the machine, log on as an Azure Active Directory user, log off and add this Active Direct Azure Active Directory user to the sudo group. So let's restart first machine and log on. When the machine was restarted, I can log on as my local user, but if I want to log on as an Azure Active Directory user, I need to click on the not listed, provide my username, and provide the password. We see creating a directory. The directory was created and this user is now visible on the system. So we will be able to add this user as an to the group, to the group. Okay, skip, next, next, done. I will log off right now. Log out. Logging again as a local user. I'm logged as a log local user, so running, uh, now I will run the terminal. sudo user mod fkms. Okay, we see that Franek Konefka F Konefka is on the sudo group. So, one more time, restart the machine. Now I will log on again as Azure Active Directory user, provide a password. I will log on. Now I will open the terminal. Type the there and we see that we have a um, home directory and I can for example use the sudo command git update sudo update get upgrade nothing to upgrade and as you can see the sudo command it is working properly and there is one information one more time from my site if you will be following the instruction directly from the GitHub repository, the sudo will be not working properly. It will be working properly when the packages will be deployed to the production repository. For now, I added the test repository as I showed you earlier, and that was the reason why the sudo command is was working. And for today's movie, it will be everything because I showed you how to configure the Ubuntu 20.3.0.4 to use the sudo command and how to log on to this machine using the Azure Active Directory account. On the next movie, I will show you how to create a scripts and deploy them via the Microsoft Intune to the my test machine. Stay tuned and thank you for watching. Bye bye.